Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This video is gonna talk about Wix Editor X and repeaters, as well as touching on data sets and collections. Really what all this means is that, be, the way to think of Wix Editor X is that it's fully responsive. It should work on every device, every screen size. This is the power of Editor X. The problem with that or the challenge of that is when you start adding objects, sections, rows, columns, grids, you have to consider the responsiveness. How's it gonna look on all of those breakpoints, as Wix calls them? Uh, that can get complicated rather quickly. So the way to work around this and avoid all that complexity, is, one way, is to use repeaters. And this is a, basically a, a, an object where you set it once, you set up its responsiveness, and then you use data, connect it to a data set so that no matter how many items you add to it or remove from it, it's going to look good. On this education page, you can see I've got these four boxes here, these gray boxes. I change the screen size, let's get rid of that. You can see those change. And even when I go real narrow, they stack. So this is the breakpoints that I've got set up in the site. And we should be able to, in theory, add 40 of these or remove all but, you know, a couple of them and this is still going to look good on any any device so let's go into the editor and let's go down here and you can see it, it doesn't show the data let's click into the repeater you can see it's connected to a data set connected to data what data is it connected to it's connected to the webinar data set so let's go to content manager webinar let's click in there and you can see it's going to bring up our webinar collection okay so look we've got pdpm snf how to here we go pdpm snf how to everything we're typing in here to this webinar is showing up here on the actual site so to edit these you just this is just like an excel file you're going to click in here and edit you can add a new row you can select and delete a row i'm not going to do that so let's add in test, test description. You can see, you can start to put in different formatting down here. We have a cost field here, let's just do that. We've got a date field, We've got a registration link and a webinar link, All right? So you got the registration link right there. So the webinar link is automatically created. Don't worry about that. Registration link is wherever this register now button is gonna go. This is a little more kind of level two because I've got multiple pages, but the concept holds. Whatever you type in here, and all changes saved. So let's update our sort, keep it happy there. Let's go here, oops, wrong page. Sorry for jumping around, but look, I've changed it in the, in the data set, in the collection, and now it shows up here automatically. So let me go back and rewind that, we'll delete. We'll come over here, we'll hard refresh, and it's gone. So it's really about as simple as editing an Excel file and making setting this up is a little more challenging, right? You've got to connect a lot of dots and make sure you've got all the fields in here you need. But once it's set up, adding and removing rows, data, expanding and contracting this section here, it's going to be really straightforward. So you, again, let's go back to the editor. How do you get in here? First, you have to know what data set you're connected to, webinar, and you go to your content manager webinar, just click in there, and it'll bring all the data right up here. So any questions, obviously it's much more powerful than this, you can do a lot more with it, but this is, this is the basics, this is how to update the content. Any questions, reach out to the BizLadder, 302-307-3247, thanks.